Look out, here she comes The woman that I love Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share my latest adventure with you all. I recently spent three days in the beautiful city of Bursa, Turkey, and I can't wait to take you along with me on this journey. From historic landmarks to breathtaking views, Bursa truly has it all. So, sit back, relax, and let's get started. I arrived in Bursa early in the morning, eager to explore everything the city had to offer. My first stop was the Great Mosque, one of the largest and oldest mosques in Turkey. Its beautiful architectural style and intricate details took my breath away. With its beautiful tiled domes and intricate calligraphy, it's a spiritual and cultural experience you won't forget. It is located just a few minutes walk from the Green Mosque in the heart of Bursa's old town. Built in the 14th century, the mosque features 20 domes and two minarets and is considered a prime example of early Ottoman architecture. Inside, visitors can admire the mosque's intricate tile work and calligraphy and learn about its rich cultural and religious significance. The mosque remains an important place of worship for the local community. Right next to the Great Mosque is the Kozahan, also known as the Cocoon Market. Kozahan is a historic building that was once a hub for silk merchants and traders. Today, it's a must-visit destination for anyone interested in discovering the rich heritage of Bursa. As you stroll through the Kozahan, you'll be surrounded by the finest silks, fabrics, and textiles that Turkey has to offer. From luxurious silk scarves to handcrafted carpets and tapestries, there's something for everyone here. But it's not just the products that make the Kozahan such a special place. The building itself is a piece of history, with its traditional Ottoman architecture and intricate tile work adding to its charm. As you wander through the halls and alleys, you'll feel like you've stepped back in time to the days of the Silk Road. Next, I headed to the Green Mosque, a stunning landmark that's known for its intricate tile work and unique green dome. The combination of blue and green tiles creates a mesmerizing effect, making this mosque truly one of a kind. This mosque is a beautiful example of Ottoman-era architecture and is known for its stained glass windows. It's truly a sight to behold. The architect Hak Ivas Pasha designed the tomb and the Yeshil Mosque opposite it. Visitors to the Yeshil Mosque can admire its beauty and appreciate its cultural and historical significance. The mosque remains an important place of worship for the local community and is a must-visit for anyone interested in Ottoman architecture and Islamic art. From there to the Bursa City Museum you walk for less than 5 minutes. The Bursa City Museum also known as the Turkish and Islamic Art Museum is a modern museum that showcases the history and cultural heritage of the city, with exhibits on its Ottoman past, including traditional architecture, clothing, handicrafts, and religious artifacts. The museum also features interactive displays and multimedia presentations to provide an engaging and educational experience for visitors. The next day we headed to Ulyadeg Mountains. Whether you're a nature lover, an outdoor enthusiast, or just in search of some peace and quiet, the Ulyadeg Mountains have something to offer everyone. Take a scenic hike along one of the many trails, go camping under the stars, or simply relax in the serenity of the mountains. To make your journey even more exciting, consider taking the cable car to the top of the mountains. It's one of the longest cable cars in the world, if not the longest, and offers breathtaking views of the surrounding scenery. In the winter months, the Ulyadeg Mountains are also a popular destination for skiing and snowboarding, making it the perfect getaway for adrenaline junkies and thrill seekers. With its world-class ski resorts and well-groomed slopes, skiing in Ulyadeg is a truly unforgettable experience. We spent the whole morning enjoying the incredible panoramic views that the place offers, and enjoying the relaxation that its cafes and restaurants provide. Back in town, we took a taxi to the Tefane Clock Tower Plaza. This is a historic monument located in the heart of Bursa, and it's one of the city's most iconic landmarks. Built in the 19th century, this tower was originally used as a watchtower to keep an eye on the Ottoman Empire's naval fleet. Today, it's a popular tourist destination and a must-visit for anyone interested in the history of Bursa. As you stroll around the Tefane Clock Tower, you'll be surrounded by the rich cultural heritage of the city. 
admire the intricate brickwork, the historic clock face, and the beautiful Ottoman architecture that characterizes the tower. And when you reach the top, be prepared for breathtaking views of the city and the surrounding countryside. Whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or simply in search of stunning views, the Tefane Clock Tower is the perfect place to visit. On this last full day in Bursa, we really wanted to attend the dervish dance ritual. But before that, there was still time to visit the Emir Sultan Mosque Complex. The Emir Sultan Mosque Complex is a historic mosque that is not just a place of worship, but it is also a cultural and historical center that represents the rich heritage of the city of Bursa. The Emir Sultan Mosque Complex is a stunning example of Ottoman architecture and design. The mosque itself is made of stone and marble and features a large dome and minarets. The intricate tile work, calligraphy, and other decorative elements of the mosque showcase the incredible artistic and cultural achievements of the Ottoman Empire. The complex also features a lush garden, a fountain, and a large courtyard, which provide a peaceful and serene atmosphere for visitors. It is one of the most important religious and cultural sites in the city. After the visit to the mosque, we went to watch the dervish dance ritual. We had the privilege of witnessing a truly incredible performance by local dervish dancers, and it was an experience that we'll never forget. The dancers moved with grace and fluidity, their flowing robes and intricate movements creating a mesmerizing sight. And the accompanying music, with its haunting melodies and beating drums, transported us to another world. We would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to the local community for allowing us to witness this incredible dance. Without their generosity and hospitality, we would never have had this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The dervish dance is an integral part of Turkish culture, and it's a truly unique and awe-inspiring experience. Whether you're a fan of traditional dance or music, or simply want to immerse yourself in the local culture, this dance is a must-see. To conclude, on our last day in Turkey, we made the most of our time by immersing ourselves in the rich culture and history of the city. We started off by exploring the bustling bazaars, where we were greeted with vibrant colors, exotic aromas, and endless rows of shops selling everything from textiles to spices. The bargaining and haggling with the local merchants was an experience in itself, one that left us with a deeper appreciation for the Turkish people and their way of life. Next, we took a leisurely stroll around the city, admiring the charming architecture and soaking up the relaxed atmosphere. As we walked, we came across the stunning Ergan Bridge, a single arc bridge, that spans 16 meters with width is 11 meters. It is an example of a rare type of covered bridge that houses a bazaar. In the afternoon, we reluctantly said goodbye to Turkey and hopped on a bus to the airport, eager to return home and share our stories with loved ones. Despite the sadness of leaving such a beautiful country, we ended our trip on a high note, grateful for all the memories and experiences that we had acquired. In conclusion, our trip to Turkey was a journey that we will always treasure. The country's rich culture, stunning scenery, and warm hospitality will stay with us forever, and we cannot wait to return one day and explore even more of this magnificent country. We would like to thank you for joining us on this virtual adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. We hope to continue to bring you along on our travels and showcase the beauty of the world. Until next time, farewell.